Okay, so uh, I decided to do a quick video on um, some little mods you can do to the front case on a uh, 4G63. Um, 6 bolt, 7 bolt, um, doesn't really matter. There's some uh, YouTubers that have actually done um, some videos on porting out uh, and cleaning up the rough casting on the block side of uh, the front case here. And I'd like to credit the people that actually came up with this, um, this mod, but I can't really remember where it came from. I know it was a foreign country, um, like Indonesia or Malaysia. Um, forgive me if, you know, I'm messing it up. Um, but I saw it somewhere on, uh, I think it was like one of the group pages for like DSMs or Evos. And uh, what they did was, it was so brilliant, I, I decided to kind of share it with other people because uh, I haven't really seen other people online post it, um, on YouTube anyway. Um, but basically what it is, is they join uh, this oil port to this one here. And basically they cut out this section um, because there's nothing in here that needs to be sealed, and you're basically, um, whatever the thickness is of the gasket, this one came in a package that bent, but, um, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh, but basically this one will still function and everything, uh, for the purposes of this video anyway. So we cut out, um, the section here to here, basically, um, and you, essentially uh, get a sorry my finger is in the way of the video there but you get a razor blade and uh, one mod that uh, was I think it was Joe Wrenches that actually said to cut out this section right here of the uh, the gasket which is a really good tip um, that I'm willing to you know also kind of put in my video I hope he doesn't mind um, but if he does, I mean, he can be in the comments below talking about it. Um, so this right here is the oil pickup. Supposedly on, in his case, um, a small chunk came off of here and got stuck in the oil pickup screen. Um, and if you look at it, I mean, if you pick up the gasket and look at it, this section right here never touches uh, a gasket surface anyway. So I think just cutting out here isn't really going to do anything so I'd say just cut out here and there um, and then when you're gasket matching this obviously you want to put uh, bolts through like all the little holes and uh, you can put fasteners on the other side or nuts I guess basically to kind of hold the gasket flush uh, so that you can mark it or press it down and then when you flip it over, you'll probably have, you'll basically have like a mark of where to uh, cut. And then you basically, basically you're going to cut it from here to this and like from here to like there. And you also join this here. And what that does is you'll now no longer have the thickness of whatever this gasket material is, uh, you'll you'll have gained that much uh, volume, I guess, for the oil channel here, and that's just a really nice tip that I saw. Um, this is one of the better gasket sets that you can get because it comes with the oil filter housing gasket and uh, crankshaft main seal. I believe this one actually goes over here and then you get this one this extra seal I think goes on like the 2.6s or another because uh, this is this gasket set is generic or it works with a few other models um, maybe the single cams had a smaller seal for the front here um, this is for the oil pickup screen so you'd use that there and then you have this seal for the uh, castle plug right here. It's underneath it. Um, and this uh, gasket kit, the part number on it is 
uh, TCS 45565-1 and it works on like all these vehicles uh, the 1.8 to 2.0 uh, Mitsubishi trucks you know vans and stuff and like they list uh, the country of origin for all the parts and like what all is included and then the part numbers there um, for example the um, if you look at this got the 91658 um, which is this one right here the oil filter bracket is what they call it uh, 91658 uh, made in the US so you can look for like these part numbers on the actual gasket if any of them are missing obviously uh, you can call Fel Pro up or Federal Mogul and they'll uh, take care of you. So yeah, just a quick uh, quick video on uh, sharing some of the, the little tips you can do with these front oil cases on the 4G63s. Uh, I believe this also works on the 7 bolts. Um, I mean, I can imagine why they wouldn't want to cut this all out. It's probably a little easier in manufacturing um, or maybe even... Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably the, the the real reason why. They just want to drill these two holes, and they figure, eh, you know, make it as flat as possible, and instead of cutting those holes in, um, I don't even think the OEM ones are, uh, you know, all the way through gaskets. I could be wrong, though. I haven't actually purchased an OEM front uh, timing case or oil pump case. Um gasket so I'll have to look at some of the pictures but I I'd strongly doubt that they that they would have even cut that out there um, but yeah one other quick tip um, thanks to uh, Jaffro he kind of posted on his video um, about pulling these springs out to tighten them if the crankshaft um, or balance shafts, you can also do it on these balance shaft ones as well. Uh, you can cut down the spring and make it shorter so that this uh, more tightly uh, seals around the crankshaft. But one other tip I'm going to add to that is if you actually do um, want to pound these in, all of these basically, all of the, the seals that go on the front case that have this spring on the inside, what you want to do is um, stick a dab of um, mobile one bearing grease or you know really thick grease you just want to stick it inside of here on all of them and the reason why is because if you actually pound on these um, there's a possibility that the spring could come out um, and I've actually seen it happen and I caught it on a few motors I built because um, when you're pounding in this seal you're applying so much force that, you know, metal and rubber, you know, obviously one of them's harder than the other, and the resonance from actually hitting it with a hammer is going to knock the spring loose. So putting that extra grease inside of here is actually a little bit of insurance. I've actually seen, there are a few other people on YouTube that have already, you know, gave this tip, but I mean, this is just for the 4G63 people. Um, more specifically, I guess, but I mean, it w it'll work on any car, um, or any, you know, Mitsubishi engines, uh, Dodge engines, you know, any, any car that uses this style seal, um, you want to make sure that you put an adequate amount of thick grease in there, and if you're not going to do that, at the very least, when you pound these in, make sure that you can see the spring on the inside of that lip there after you pounded it in because if it's if it actually came out you'll actually see the spring probably coming out here um, it'll look something like this I guess you know like that pretty much something like that so and see that was really easy for me to pull out the spring so you do want to make sure that you don't knock it loose uh, when you're using this uh, bearing drive or seal driver uh, or socket, whatever you're going to use to actually pound these in, I actually like using um, a purpose-made uh, tool that actually would pound these in. 
So this is just like a 10 minute uh, video on tips and stuff. So if you guys like this video and want to see more, um, uh, consider subscribing and uh, following you know, my, our channel and everything. Um, I'm going to have more on uh, CV axles soon. Um, and I also have to do those uh, knuckles. So um, until then, be safe, everyone, and uh, have a good one.